That's it. I quit. I can't take it anymore. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Scott. I'm a truck driver and I've been recording my first year experience as a truck driver here at uh, Millis Transfer since last October. And that intro was a little on the exaggerated side. <laughs> I'm not angry, uh, you know, I, but I am, but I am leaving Millis. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why, and they are the the place I'm going, which I'll mention it later in the video. But the place I'm going is going to be a little bit more convenient for me as far as home time goes. Uh, because they have a terminal uh, 70 miles from my house. So I'll be able to take my personal ho personal vehicle home as opposed to waiting on a load and, and all that stuff down to Florida and then having uh, Millis deadhead me out and, and all that. So uh, that's the first reason. The second reason is this other carrier runs all 48 states. And while I'm out here on the road, who knows how long it'll be uh, till I want even more time at home, like home daily or a local job or whatever. But while I'm out here over the road, one of my goals has always been to experience, drive through, and get in all lower 48 states. Well, with Millis, they don't do that. 99% of their freight is from I-35 East, which is basically Dallas up to Minneapolis and East. So, uh, that was the second reason for uh, this this move and it's been planned for a while so anybody that's thinking this this heartland buyout has anything to do with it it doesn't because nothing's changed we're still being told a couple months later that still nothing is going to change uh, but we'll see time will tell and then the third reason this is a little more of a personal experience on my end. For those of you that have been following my journey, uh, you should remember back in, I think it was January or early February, I flat spotted a couple trailer tires. Well, with Millis's safety program, I, I call it all or nothing. So they label that as a preventable accident, thus making me lose um, a quarterly safety bonus and yearly safety bonus. I had to pay back the material cost for those tires, which was uh, 1200 bucks. So that came out of the safety bonus. Um, and then also as a first year coming out of school, going through their school in the f for the first year, you're supposed to get one cent per mile raise every quarter for the first year well I didn't get that they took that away and they turned my truck down from 66 governed at 66 down to 62 so if you do the math on that that's about 40 miles a day so all that balled together between the material cost and the opportunity cost or the opportunity uh, income that I lost cost me about five five thousand dollars and to me that's a little harsh especially since I was only a handful of weeks solo when that happened uh, so this other company that I'm going to has a points based system and before I even looked into this other company I was thinking you know it'd be nice if Millis did something like this because somebody that tears off a bumper or hits somebody or crushes the the tails or uh, you know something like that some uh, major is treated the same way as I was just flat flat spotting two tires now 1200 bucks is nothing to mill us but it's a lot of money for me as a driver so this other company has a points based system and, and the points are based on 
the severity of the accident. So you start with 12, uh, positive 12 points. And for example, the flat spotting of two tires may be worth three points or say even five points. So then I would get knocked down to positive seven points, but I'd still be eligible for the uh, safety bonus perform all the bonuses okay well if you run out of positive points and you go in the negative then you lose your safety bonus and to me that's a lot more fair and also along the way I think every month they have classes opportunities to sit in on training safety training which will increase your positive points. So you have a way to earn your way out of losing money or not being paid the safety bonus. I, I hope that's coming across as making sense. So those are the three reasons. Now, this company, I've done a ton of research, absolute ton. I've talked to a lot of carriers, uh, talked to different drivers, of this carrier, uh, you know, absolutely done a ton of research, just like I did when I came to Millis. And there is just an overwhelmingly positive vibe about this this carrier out there. Uh, a lot of positive messages, a lot of great things that have, from from the current driver. So I went ahead and applied, and. Uh, got accepted so I'm gonna to go to their orientation November 6th my last day here at Millis will be October 24th 2019 I'll go ahead and post my uh, let you see my uh, notice message so I sent that to my dispatcher Mike and he's gonna you know give that to the people that need it and then uh, this new carrier is Crete. I'm sure a bunch of you have heard of them. Uh, and maybe even the ones watching it now are current Crete drivers. So if you have anything to say about them, if you've ever driven for them, if you're going to orientation yourself, uh, mention it in the comments below. I'd love to hear, hear from you start making connections over there. I've already made connections with two drivers. Um, one just started, I don't know, six weeks ago, two months, and the other one started earlier this year, so. And they both love it. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, as any transition is, might be a little stressful, uh, but I think I got things planned out financially that it'll be okay. But if you're watching this video and you're interested in Crete and, or anything about them, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm going to continue doing videos uh, you know, about their orientation, what's going on, uh, try to be a, a recruiter for them. And you know, as I gain inf more information about them, the nitty gritty details, uh, my email will be in the description below. Feel free to uh, shoot me an email, ask me questions. Love to hear from you. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. You know, I got an open invitation. Uh, as soon as I sent that notification, the two week uh, notification to them, I got a couple messages from people in the upper echelon of Millis. Uh, you know, wanting to know why, the details. So I called and talked to one of them and just told him the truth. Like, you know, I think this other carrier is going to be a little better fit for my family and I and my ultimate goals. And he was okay with it. And then, like he and a couple others made, made sure to let me know that I have an open invitation to come back if I ever wanted or needed. So I have nothing bad to say about Millis. They've been great. They're a wonderful company to work for. Now, that's as far as this goes. If, with a Heartland buyout, if nothing ever changes with Millis, 
which is what we're told, if nothing ever changes with Millis, I'm always going to recommend people to come to Millis through the school. If they're if you're entering the industry, the the Millis training is second to none. It's awesome. So I'm always going to recommend that. Once you hit that one year contract, you know, like I have, people need to grow sometimes, and that's okay. So there's nothing against Millis. Millis has been great. The only gripe I have is how they handle that safety situation. That's it. And that's just my personal experience. There are a ton of other drivers that have never uh, dealt with that. And that's, that's great. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it at that. Appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, stay safe out there. Keep them wheels turning. And we'll catch you next time.